So far, so good. No burning, no death. I am going to go and grab my frying pan and get everything set up for cooking these chicken fajitas. All right, it is cooking time. It is 80 degrees in the tent and I had to open one of the doors because I'm super hot. And yeah, it's awesome. Very happy with uh, how this is turning out. So for today's meal, we are going to be cooking chicken fajitas. It's super, super easy. You've got your various colors of bell pepper. I like to use orange, yellow, and red. And then you have several yellow onions. I'm using four yellow onions in this recipe because I want more peppers and onions in, um, in the final mix. I think I'm using like six peppers. And then chicken breast. You can also use chicken thigh, um, chicken wing, chicken anything. I just use breast because it's easier and just cut that down into strips. So let's get all this meal prepped first and then we're gonna cook it on this camp stove. I'm going to use a uh, cast iron pan. It's bigger than the one that's in my camp kitchen box. Um, that video I'll, I'll link above of everything that's in my camp kitchen box. But it's the one that we use in our house and I usually cook all the chicken fajitas in that and it is, uh, camp stove is big enough to accommodate that size pan. So I'm gonna do it. Got my camp kitchen box over here. Got my food prep here. Got my stove here. Great. Let's get all of this uh, stuff prepped. I just like to cut them into nice thin strips. For the onions, I just like to cut them into strips. So here is everything we are going to be using for the chicken fajitas. We've got the peppers and onions all cut up and ready to go. We've got chicken. We've got some butter. I use Kerrygold. We've got a couple of seasoning packets that I found to be really good. These simply organic. Uh, one is Southwest taco, one is fajita. A little bit of avocado oil and some salt and pepper. All right, so we are going to let the pan heat up a little bit. We're gonna put some fire into this here camp stove. Firewood, I should say. I like to start in the pan already is going to be some bacon grease from uh, today's breakfast. I drained most of it out, but I left a little bit just for some flavor. Add some avocado oil. And then for some more flavor, I'm going to add some butter. You don't have to add butter if you don't want to, but I just think butter makes everything taste better. Let's give that a good. a little bit too big for this camp stove, but I think it's going to do the job. So 
I like to start with the onions and the peppers first and get those all cooked down. It's a massive amount of peppers and onions. So I'm just gonna get those thrown in, cook them down, and then we're gonna put them in a bowl and leave them aside, and then we're gonna cook the chicken. Then we're going to mix everything, add the spices, and then just let it cook some more. And then it's done, super easy. There's a little bit of a hot spot right over here. So I'm just trying to rotate and move everything around. Very nice to be sitting outside in the winter time, 80 degrees, and cook on the outside. So this is going to be great. Next weekend I've reserved a campsite at a campground. It was right down the street from my house. I didn't even realize it was a campground until I was looking for something near me and discovered it. So they are open for winter camping, Wednesdays through Sundays, and I thought it would be a good idea to, after testing this in my backyard, try it at a campground. Um, so I reserved two days over there. I think I'm burning my food. Nah, we're good, we're good. Reserves two days over there, and hopefully we can get a little bit of snow and see if uh, this thing stands up with some, with some weather. So far, so good. I mean, the reviews on this tent have been pretty great. It is a little small, but um, you know, there's nothing we can really do about that. As far as sleeping goes, I know we could fit two people in here, but I'm definitely going to have to pare down my kitchen box. This kitchen box that we use right here, this box is for like when we're gonna be tent camping at a campground for like a week, like we did uh, earlier this year at Yellowstone. And it's fine if you're going to have a vehicle with you and you don't, you know, weight isn't a concern, but my goal for this tent and for uh, hot tent camping in general is going to be to get back to places where there aren't a ton of people. So I need to just have obviously a backpack that's going to have everything I need for cooking. I'm not going to be bringing a ginormous cast iron pan. I'm not going to be bringing all of this stuff that's in this camp box if it's just going to be me and maybe Goran camping out in the wilderness. Um, I also can't take this giant table here or the chair that I'm sitting in. It's, it's way too big. It takes up way too much room. I'm going to have to get something a little bit more portable, which is fine. I mean, that's, that's you know, it's a learning curve. You, you just have to get the gear that's going to fit your needs and what you're most comfortable with. I have got to let this cast iron pan cool off a little bit because it was just, there's no temperature control, you know, on this camp stove. And when I put the chicken in, I don't want it to just immediately burn, cause that wouldn't be good. But all of the vegetables are done. Next goes in the chicken.
crispy in there. way the snow is melting. If that looks like a lot, it is. But there's a reason for that. And that's because I really wanted a lot of peppers and onions with my fajitas this time. What I do is I meal prep this and I, um, I eat this for lunch with lettuce wraps. But man, these, uh, these fajitas are the jam. So the way I eat them is with uh, two big pieces of butter lettuce and I put sour cream right onto the lettuce and a little bit of Cholula hot sauce. And then I pile up some fajita in there, not too much, you don't want it to break the lettuce. And then I cover it with red onion, roll it up, eat two or three of those, sometimes four if I'm starving. And this batch, if it was just me eating it, this would last over a week. This would, this would last probably almost two weeks, but with Gorin and my niece over, uh, they'll have some too. And it is delicious. It is considered keto. If you do the lettuce wraps, um, you could consider this paleo. I consider it delicious. All right, so let's get this seasoning in. This first one is a Southwest taco seasoning by Simply Organic. Let's get this at any grocery store. And fajita seasoning mix. I'm assuming they're pretty similar. I can read all of the um, ingredients on the back and they're all gluten-free, which is something that I'm looking for. I put the first packet on. I'm just gonna kinda get that mixed in and then I'll put the second one in. And then I'm gonna taste it and if the two packs aren't enough for this much, I'll run inside and get a third. It is time to give this chicken fajitas a try. No! <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. oh my god, I'm dripping all over my thumb. <laughs> Mm-hmm, now it's really good. I'm gonna let this cook up a little bit more, add a little bit more spices to it, and then take it off the fire. And my mission is accomplished for the day. So we set up the tent, took a little bit because it was windy yesterday, but that went well, got that up. Got the camp stove into the tent. Got a fire going in it. Um, well, we had to split a bunch of wood. Got the fire going and cooked a meal. So with that, I think we're gonna end it there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel 
so that you will know whenever we release a new video. Definitely going to have some videos for next week's camp out. Mm. And we would love to have you come along. Um, mm. If you liked any of the things that I used in the video, like that salt and pepper shaker, I absolutely love them. I'll link them below in the description. These are affiliate links uh, from Amazon. So I do earn a little bit of money when you purchase something through the link, but um, that helps me to keep creating these videos for you. And I really hope you enjoy them. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited to kind of figure out what the next meal I'm gonna cook in this tent is going to be. I may even cook another one this weekend. I don't know, we'll see. But thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. All right, bye.